Hey guys, Josh here. Today's video is actually going to be a hair tutorial video. Um, the only reason I'm actually making this is because I've literally had people write to me and ask me to make this video. And I've been putting it off. Um, so without further ado, here you go. And trust me, I know what you're thinking. Hey Chad, come here bro. Watch this gay guy make a gay video about his gay hairstyle. <laughs> I'm ignorant. Well guess what? I have a lot of gay friends and they all have beautiful awesome hair. So thanks for the compliment. Gay people rock. Alright, so first things first. You gotta work with a clean slate. Wash the hair. Okay, what you want to do now is you want to take a towel and get most of the moisture out of your hair. I'm chilly. All better. What I do now is I actually take a blow dryer and I blow dry it in the direction that you want the hair to actually fall. I mean, I could blow dry it and it could go down straight and I could blow dry it and have it poof up everywhere. I blow dry it in the certain angles and directions that I want my hair to go into. Now let's get to it. Okay, P.S. Uh, you don't want to blow dry it completely dry. Let there be a little bit of moisture left in your hair. Okay, next up, uh, the products that you're going to put in your hair. A lot of people think that I put a lot of stuff in it, but I don't. First, you got to give it texture, and I do that with Redken for men. If I don't use that, I use Crew, and that is a same type of thing. It's kind of like a paste, but lately I've been doing Redken, and it smells good too. So what this does is it gives your hair texture. So what I do is I put about that much on my hand. You spread that out evenly into your hand so that there are no clumps. There are literally no clumps of this white stuff because you don't want to have clumpy white stuff all in your hair. What this does is it takes your hair and it gives it a little bit of texture. It thickens it up if you have pretty straight hair. And this is really where the styling comes into it. So I always kind of do a little swoop to the side, kind of like a wave. Um, I actually look in the mirror for a sec. Make sure you put some in the back. A lot of people put product just in the front and the sides and they forget to texturize the back. You want to do it all over, okay? Because people see you from all angles. They don't just see you from the front. So now what I use is Tresemme hairspray. It's um, four out of five extra hold. This does make a difference. What this does is now that it's texturized, this is gonna hold it for the rest of the day. If you don't put hairspray in it, it's just gonna, it's gonna be limp within a couple of hours and then you lose all the work you put into it. This lasts me all day long. Just do a nice brief amount. Typically what I do once I spray it, I work it into my hair a little bit. Don't just get the outer layer, kind of work it in just like you did with the, um, with the paste. This is basically gonna hold different types of layers in your hair. Um, and again, make sure you have done this in the back as well. That's pretty much it. That's all. Awesome. So that's that. It takes me about four or five minutes to do my hair from washing it to rinsing it with a towel to blow drying it to applying the product and then I'm done. It doesn't take very long. So I, this usually works for people with straight hair. I mean curly hair it's, it's hard because you know it's hard to straighten that kind of stuff out. But if you have straight to semi curly hair you can do this style. So thanks for the couple people that requested me to do this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs> I'm ignorant.